Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. So I'm currently moving house, so content may be a little bit everywhere for the next couple of weeks. I will be having a new background soon. I'm gonna have a whole room dedicated to filming and skincare and not just my bedroom. But I really wanted to do another Yes Style haul. I just need a day to film something that doesn't take much brain power. As always, these hauls are not sponsored. Every product has been gifted to me by YesStyle. I get to pick them for myself and I do never actually have to feature them here on my channel, but I really like doing hauls and I just wanna share it with you guys. I just wanna share something about shopping with YesStyle. Um, a lot of people mentioned to me that their products take a long time to come. For me, shipping is anything from two to three weeks, which I, to be honest, do expect from something coming from the other side of the world. However, the best way to shop on YesStyle, or how I personally shop on YesStyle, is to immediately filter any search results or what you're looking for by in stock. This way they kind of ship the products out immediately rather than waiting for products to come into stock before they ship out your whole shipment to you, if that makes sense. So if I was to buy two things that were in stock, one of them wasn't in stock, they would wait for that item to come in and then ship it out to you. You'll find that it arrives a lot quicker. So let's get into it. I tried to buy a few different products this time round. I have, of course, stocked up on all my favorites. So I'm only gonna be showing you um, new stuff. Let's start off with this. This is a body wash. Or is it a body lotion? You know what, I don't know what this is. It's a body lotion, an avocado body lotion from the Shape Face Shop in collaboration with Visit Cacao Friends. This is, of course, Ryan. He's a lion, not a bear. But yeah, I don't know why I'm so bad at using moisturizing body lotions on my body. Moisturizing body lotions. Body lotions on my body. I tend to just skip them or forget about them, and I'm really lazy when it comes to it. So I thought something in cute, fun packaging like this might um, inspire me to use it a bit more. So a few more interesting bits I got from the um, face shop cacao friends collaboration which they do a lot actually i got their mineral sun cream um this is spf 48 pa three pluses this is a little bit thick i've already tried this this is a little bit white casty on me but i have actually been diagnosed with a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks so i am really really trying to put something thick and heavy on my cheeks you can see kind of like how red they're getting so it's okay it's a little bit heavy um i would say make sure you're well moisturized before applying this because if you put this on to like not so moisturized dry skin it's going to feel sticky one thing people always clock me on is when i say that sunscreens go a long way um what i mean because obviously you're meant to use a certain amount but what i mean by that is there's sunscreens like this that are a little bit thicker in consistency so your recommended teaspoon whatever it is of sunscreen it doesn't flow as nicely on your skin as say um, a teaspoon of like a chemical sunscreen which just seems to have the consistency to be able to just flow all over your skin and cover everything with that one recommended amount i find that thicker mineral sunscreens don't spread as easily so you do end up having to use more to kind of make sure you covered your whole face if that makes sense but i did actually get another sunscreen um did i this is a mineral stick and it's SPF 50 PA++. I've used this as well. I love sunscreens. I The moment I get them, I open them and test them out. And this is actually really nice on the skin. So it is a mineral sunscreen. Let's just show you the packaging. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, so yeah, like that. And I like these as well because they're so easy to put on the skin. So what I, I've been doing with these is using a chemical um, sunscreen everywhere, then just going on my extremely red bits or bits with darker spots um, with a mineral, mineral sunscreen stick. Yeah, I just find that it stops me getting so red. Um, another thing from the same collection is this little travel body wash and body lotion. So the same thing as this um, with the lotion, but there's also an avocado body wash in there as well. Again, I didn't look too deeply into the ingredients. I bought this purely for the packaging. But I actually really like the Face Shop as a brand. They are one of the first brands that I discovered when I was in um, Koreatown in New York. It's one of the first K-beauty brands I use along with Nature Republic. So I trust their products anyway. Um, but then I also got two sheet masks as well because of the packaging. Okay, um, what else did I get? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I got this um, natural BHA skin returning A Soul from COSRX. This is a 1% BHA toner that is soothing and hydrating. I'm not sure why I got this because I like using a higher level BHA, but I thought this would be good to use daily, mainly on areas that look very congested. Now we're in summer. Well 
kind of going out summer now. But I like my T-zone, so like here, especially on my nose where it can look very, very congested, I thought it might be good just to treat my nose with this maybe every single day. Um, 1% I think that will be okay. Let me know if you've used this before when I first got it I added it to my basket. and I didn't really know what it was But let me know your opinions on this and if you've used it before It just feels and looks very different to their usual packaging. We'll see. We'll see I'm a little bit like I'm not really sure why I got this but I also really want to try it Oh, finally, 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 I got the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I've not been able to get my hand on, hands on this for the longest time. It's always on Yes Style, but it's usually out of stock, which I'm guessing means it's very, very popular, and I'm constantly asked to review this, so I will be trying this soon, but I'll be doing a proper review of it probably over on my Instagram, where I do just random little product reviews that I've been testing. This has 96% snail secretion, which is a lot for its key ingredients. That's so good. Helping your skin keep moist while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. So yeah, really looking forward to using that. Oh, then I got the Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser from Cosrx as well. Um, a lot of you are a fan of this and I wanted to try this. I'm not sure how effective salicylic acids are in a face wash when you're just literally keeping them on your skin for a bit. I don't know. Um, another sunscreen. This is the Innisfree Ato Soothing Sun Stick. This is SPF 50 plus, PA 4 pluses. So yeah, I believe this is a mineral sunscreen. Um, but yeah, it's just super, super light on the skin. It's very, very soothing as well and doesn't leave your skin greasy and heavy. So again, I tried this pretty immediately, like the day after I got all my products. Um, and my skin felt a little bit dry at first um, because of its kind of like powdery texture. But then throughout the day, I wasn't getting greasy. I had a nice normal sheen and glow to my skin. Um, so yeah, I really want this. And I do want to try more of the Innisfree um, Soothing Sun range. You know, all the kind of like bluey products. So if you've tried those as well, let me know what ones you recommend. Um, I've stocked up on... These little cleansers, um, I love these. They're little like enzyme washes. I don't use them every day because I do kind of count them as an exfoliator, but they're not harsh. It's very, very gentle. I got a free gift of a spatula, which is good for all my masks. And then I also got um, the Claire's Creamy Fit Natural Concealer. As I mentioned, I've been diagnosed with a little bit of rosacea on my cheeks. I've been red there like all my life pretty much. So it's never gotten worse, but it's never gotten better. Um, so I really want to learn how to use concealer properly to just kind of like mask that if I'm going out somewhere like a special event. It's not something I'd use every day. Um, I've already got one of these that I've kind of ruined because I've been trying to use it unsuccessfully because I don't know how to use makeup. So I'm gonna um, do this with my brother um, so he can help me out with that. Oh yes, yeah, so I got this um, peeling gel from Beauty of Je Joseon, I believe it is. Um, apricot peeling gel. I've wanted a peeling gel for the longest time. Um, I, used, I used to have one, I used to really, really love it. It was the Cure one from Japan. I, I believe they all kind of work the same. There's nothing really special about one compared to the other. Oh, another um, Accent Oil Cut Cleanser from Troyarike, one of my favorite cleansers of all time. This literally feels like nothing on your skin, but gives you such a nice cleanse. It's hydrating, it keeps your skin feeling moist and tight free. I'd highly recommend that if you've not tried it before. If you want to try anything from that brand, start with that. Oh, another, this is a BB cream from Purito, Snail Clearing BB Cream, Natural Beige. Oh, that's gonna be too light for me. I think. SPF 38 PA++. So again, I wanna kind of try with makeup a little bit more. Let me know if I should take all the makeup that I've bought and never used to my brothers and we can kind of sit there and go through everything and he can help me learn it. Oh yes, this is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops. I love the Fundamental Ample Mist. It's so, so nice, soothing, gives me glowing skin. Um, this is a water-based serum, like oil drop thing that I, I just I just want to try. It looks so nice and so um, hydrating and dewy at the same time. I don't know, it just looks amazing. So I'm really excited to try that. Oh, I bought more of these hair things. Everyone keeps asking me about these. ASMR. It's these Velcro things. They're literally like $2, but they're so good. You just stick them in your hair and it keeps your hair out of your head. And everyone's always like, what are they in your head? Oh crap. I just feel like it's so important. Oh God, ignore my hair for the rest of the video. I feel like it's so important to keep your hair out of your head while you're cleansing or doing a mask and anything like that. So these are so cheap and so good and so effective. Um, I've got like five pairs of these now, I love them. I got something a bit naughty as well. I got these um, 
the COSRX nose patches. I accidentally ordered loads. Maybe a giveaway, because I don't use nose strips that often. They're not good for you, okay? But I still use them. This is a Taiwanese brand, I think. This is a brand called My Scheming, and this is their deep cleansing mask. This is really good, and I probably used this about five years ago, and I'm not sure why I've never used it again. Um, but this is like a gel mask that you put over your skin and then just kind of like gently um, take off. It doesn't peel, it doesn't, you don't need to wash it off, you just like kind of wipe it away. And your nose just looks like clogged free. I absolutely loved it. I'm not sure why I ever stopped using it. Um, but I might do like an Instagram demo of this, like a video, because it is really, really good. And when I saw it, on Yes Style, I was like, oh yeah, like I actually really, really like that. So I had to get it again. And then of course the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So this is a 90% snail secretion cream, another product that you've all been asking, not all of you, but a lot of you have been asking about. So I'm so, so excited to try this. It looks like it's gonna be nice and lightweight, but nourishing enough for my oily skin, which is perfect. Oh, and then I got these purely because of the packaging again, some Japanese sheet masks. I just love like the romantic packaging on the front there. It's cute. I got loads of these um, that I bought when I was actually in Japan. I still haven't used. Oh, I think this is another Taiwanese product. I think someone recommended this to me over Instagram, actually. They're like, you have to try it. It's become like a cult item. This is another jelly mask. This is the aloe and seaweed anti-acne jelly mask. It's just cooling. So yeah, this one's meant to be good for soothing, any inflamed skin, acne, spots, and meant to help clear up your pores as well. I guess the same kind of thing as this. So I'm really excited to try both of these again, but this one again, this one for a first time. And then a gel moisturizer that I absolutely love, um, that I featured a couple of times on my channel, the Neogen Black Volume Cream Kit, uh, water capping system. So this is just an extremely hydrating gel moisturizer, but it feels super posh and boozy bougie like it, look at this different packaging for neogen um it really really plumps up your skin like if you're feeling really super dehydrated you can use this and the tiniest amount of this just spreads so nice over your skin and makes you look instantly glowing but yeah it's a little bit on the pricier side but it's really really good i would say especially if you're suffering with dehydrated skin it's worth the investment but i believe that is all yeah that is it for today i kind of invested in a few more pricier items nothing too crazy expensive there though um that's it i haven't got a lot to say let me know what products you really want to try, what products you've already tried, and your honest opinion of them in the comments down below. But that's it for me now, guys. I will see you next time, maybe in a new area. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Oh, that was loud. Hello. Hello. <laughs>